Welcome, welcome back at any help at C-Square. In this example, we have a circle and we need to find the measure of arc CD, which is this arc right here. And we know the chord CD is 30. And the radius of circle O is 17. And the radius of circle O is this segment OC and then it's 17. The question is, how am I going to use this information to find the measure of the arc uh, CD. For find, finding the measure of arc CD, I'm going to need to find the measure of this uh, big angle COD. Okay. If I can find the measure of that angle COD, then obviously I can find the measure of the arc CD because that will be a central angle. For that reason, I'm going to need to find half of COD and I'm going to talk in a moment why half. Uh, and then um, I can double it and I have that uh, angle, the measure of this angle COD. And uh, for that reason, I'm going to look to this theorem that you see here. In a circle, if a diameter, radius, or a small part of these two uh, parts of the um, circle is perpendicular to a chord, then it's bisect the chord and its arc. So we see that OE here, which is a part of a radius is perpendicular, we see the box here on the chord, that means these two parts are congruent. So that's my first statement I'm going to write here, in fact the second one, CE congruent with ED. Why? Because OE is perpendicular on CD, therefore it bisects CD. And we know CD is 30, which means CE, which is equals to ED, are going to be half of CD, which uh, tells me CE, for example, will be nothing else than 30 divided by 2, which is 15. And then I can use uh, a right triangle, triangle OCE, which I'm going to draw it right here. O C E. This is a right triangle and C E is 15. O C E is the radius, it's 17. If you remember, it's right here. The question is, how do I find this angle? For that reason, I'm going to use the trigonometric function and I'm looking here. That's the angle I'm, I need to find out. I know the opposite leg on the hypotenuse. So I'm going to use sine. Sine of that angle, C O E. is nothing else than opposite leg 15 over hypotenuse 17. So for finding the measure of angle COE, I'm going to use the inverse function of a calculator, the inverse function of sine to be sure, and I'm going to get a value. So the measure of the angle for which the sine is 15 over 17, it's 61.9 degree, and I'm going to round it up. I'm going to round it to 62 degrees. So now, as I said, this angle is 62 degrees. This angle is congruent to the, the, the other angle. It's 62 degrees because triangle OEC and OED are congruent right triangle and they have uh, two legs congruent OE and uh, is a common side and EC congruent to ED. So therefore the measure of angle COD will be twice like I said the measure of angle COE. So in our case we're going to have the measure of angle COD is 2 times 62, so that will be uh, 124. And as I said, the measure of arc CD will be the same of the measure of, an, of the angle COD, the central angle. So the measure of arc CD 
is 124. If you enjoyed this video clip, don't forget to click the like button and come back to C-Square for more help. Thank you.